Welcome to Blackthorn Prods. I'm Liam Kalis, the co-founder and lead game programmer of Blackthorn Prods. In this episode of the C Sharp Fundamentals in one hour series, we will have a look at the super important programming concept, arrays. So an array is basically a variable that contains several pieces of information. It's just like a list with several list items inside of it. The way we create an array is like this. You first put the type of the array, so you could put an int, float, bool or string, and then you just add a pair of square brackets which will tell the computer that you're creating an array. Then we follow off with the name of your array and then an equal sign. After that, we write the keywords new, then again the type of the array and the square brackets, and this time inside of the square brackets, you put the number of items you want in your list. In other words, how many pieces of information you want your array to store. Okay, and so just like that, we initialize our array. Now we can set the values to our list items in two different ways. The first one is to put a pair of curly braces after the array initialization, and then set the values separating each one with a comma. The other way is to set each one individually like this. First, you select the array item you want to set the value for. To do that, we just write the name of the array, followed with a pair of square brackets, and then inside of the square brackets, you put the index of the item. The index of an array item is what enables us to specifically select a certain item inside the array. One note, arrays are indexed starting at zero which means that the first item in your array will have an index of 0, the second one an index of 1, and so on. After we selected the item of our array, we just put an equal sign and assign the new value. This method will of course let us also edit the value of an array item. One last thing before we go and write some codes. The way we use an array item is of course just by selecting it. So, for an example, if we wanted to print out an array item to the Unity console, it would look something like this. Print my friends index of 0 to print out the first item of my friends array. Alright guys, let's head back to Unity and practice a little bit with arrays. Okay, so like always, I'm going to go inside the Assets pan, right click, go to Create, C Sharp Script, and this one I'm going to rename it to Arrays. Then just double click on it to open it up. Alright, so for our first example, I'm going to start off by creating a string array called My Friends Names, setting it equal to a new string array of size 3, and then putting in three random names. So Tim, John, and Mark. So once that array is complete, I'm going to create an int array this time called my friends ages. I'm going to set it equal to a new int array of size 3 as well, and then put in three uh, random numbers, so 12, 54, and 19. Alright, so now I'm just going to paste in a function I created. So basically it's a void called print friend name and age. It takes in a int parameter called my index and all it does is that it prints out my friend is called then the my friend's names array of index my index followed up with and he is and finishing off of course with my friend's ages of index my index then inside of the start function I'm just going to call my print friend's name and age function and pass in zero has the my index parameter then I'm just going to copy and paste that line twice more and then pass in 1 and 2 for the my index parameters. Alright, so back inside of Unity, I'm going to drag and drop my array script onto a game object in my scene. Then I'm just going to press the play button and open up the Unity console. And as you can see, we have got three prints. The first one is Tim and 12. The next one is John and 54 and the last one is Mark and 19. So now if I press the play button again and go back to my script, I'm going to explain you why those values are getting printed out. 
Well, inside of my start function, I'm calling the print friend name and age and I'm passing in zero. So we're going inside of this function, we're printing out my friend is called, then the my friend's names array, so this one here, and we're passing in the my index parameter. And in this case, my index is equal to zero. So we're printing out my friend's names zero, which is Tim. Then we're printing out as he is, followed up with the my friend's ages of zero as well, which is in this case 12. We are doing the same for one, so John and 54, and two, Mark and 19. All right, excellent. All right, so I'm going to give you another example of how we could use arrays. So I just removed everything that we did previously in our array script. So now I'm just going to create a int array. I'm going to call it my int array. I'm going to set it equal to a new int array, and I'm going to give it a size of four. And then I'm just going to put four random numbers. So five, 20, negative five, and negative 25. All right, so now inside of my start function, I'm going to create a int variable. I'm going to call it my number. And I'm going to set it equal to my int array index of zero plus my int array index of three. So that should be five plus negative 25 which should give negative 20. So then I'm just going to print out my number. And if I save and head over back to Unity and press play, we should see negative 20, which we do. If I open my console, we can see ne negative 20 got printed out. Super. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching today's episode of the C-Sharp Fundamentals series. Please, guys, if you have any questions, problems or suggestions, leave them in the comment block down below. We will answer the fastest possible. If you are enjoying this series, please put a like, it helps us out a lot and it only takes you about one second to do. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for new awesome game development videos every week. Alright, that is all for today. Cheers guys!